Hello, hello, this is Brian with Zimco Survival and welcome to my backyard once again. Um, it's a pretty nice day today, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys and do an actual review of these yo yo fishing kit uh, traps. If you watched my fishing kit video, and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description here, um, you'll already have seen these. I didn't go over them very much because I was doing a kit video and these were in my kit but I'm, I decided to go ahead and do a separate video for them. Um, these are very very light probably only about two ounces or so two or three ounces. They're all stainless steel so you don't have to worry about them rusting or anything else. The line in them is almost like paracord line um, so that's not gonna rot away or anything like that. Um, these are essentially traps that you set up for fish. They're called yo-yo fishing traps. And what you do is there's a little hole right there. Okay, You put some line through it and you tie it to a tree. Just like this. Once it's tied onto the tree, you pull out the line you want. And you flip that little lever right there. Okay, When it's flipped, it's not going to go off. Right? So if you pull on the string, it, that's what sets it. Now, the benefit of these, believe it or not, is that you can actually take and change the spring tightness on it based on the size of fish you're going for. I tend to prefer mine to be at a medium tightness. I don't like it to be so tight that it jerks the fish up out of the water. But I want it to be tight enough to set the hook. Um, if you leave it at the factory tightness, it's it's not that good as far as setting the hook goes. So what you're going to do, if you want to change the tightness on this, is you're going to hold the end right there of the string, and you're just going to take this and start twisting it like that. You can see that it releases cords. You're going to take, twist it over, okay, so twist it like this, so that it folds over itself, okay, then just wrap the cord back up over the fishing rail, like that. You just added a loop. By adding loops, you increase the tightness of the spring. The more loops you add, the tighter the spring becomes. The more loops you take off, the looser the, the spring becomes. Now, when setting these, the tightness level on these, okay, the tighter it is, the bigger the fish you're going for. The looser, the smaller the fish. I would not use this on any fish probably smaller than six inches um, because it's not, this can lift a, a fish up out of the water. Um, that's a bad thing because if it lifts the fish out of the water then the fish dies and as everyone knows fish doesn't keep very well so if you're gonna leave these in the water for several hours you you want that fish to stay in the water so that you just pull it out and it's still fresh um, <clears throat> if you go for things smaller I find smaller than six inches the standard tightness on this is enough to to cause issues as far as that goes um, meaning that the the actual reel itself is going to lift the smaller fish out regardless of how tight you set it um, but overall my opinion on these are they are phenomenal survival tools they are a little bit expensive. Um, you're probably going to pay about six dollars a piece for them, but like you know, they're entirely made out of stainless steel. They're not going to rust on you. There, people have been using the the same ones for decades, and they still work. Um, if the string breaks, you just wrap it with fishing line. It's it's a really durable piece of equipment, and I carry three of them in my kit. You can see, they don't take up much space and it saves me a ton of time trying to build fish traps because I already have three ready-made fish traps on my person that I can just set up 
So when I get to the edge of a lake or something and I decide to set up camp, all I have to do is before I do anything else, I just run around, set these up, go build my camp, come back afterwards and check them. And most of the time, you'll find fish on the end. Um, in my opinion, I consider it free food, free calories, because I did very, very little work and these were fishing for me while I was doing other things. And because of the fact that I don't have to put very many calories into using these, unlike building a fish trap where I have to take, find the right wood, put it all together into a fish basket, and then set it, time-wise, I don't have to do that here, and calorie-wise, I don't have to waste anything. So, carry, in my opinion, carry at least three. If you have room, carry more. I find these to be phenomenal pieces of equipment. Um, if you have any questions about them, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer anything. I think I've hit pretty much all the points that I needed to hit with them. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave a comment for me. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much. Please have a great night. Bye-bye.